Today's Southern California CEO was made possible with the support of the Riverside County EDA's Office of Foreign Trade. Riverside County Foreign Trade assists firms in exporting products, goods, and services to nations around the globe, as well as assisting businesses with export financing, foreign direct investment, and offers any use of its three foreign trade zones. Hello and welcome to Southern California CEO Magazine. I'm your host, Dwight Cromie. On this edition, we were able to attend the Riverside County EDA's Export Manufacturers Day. Manufacturers throughout the county came and displayed their goods and talked with county officials. I was able to talk to Rob Field, the Executive Director of the EDA, along with some of the exhibitors about the importance of import and trade for this region. I'm here with Rob Field with the EDA of Riverside County. Rob, can you tell me, why did you put on today's event, the Exporter Manufacturers event? Well, it's sort of a hidden secret. People don't realize the diversity, the range of products that are produced and exported from this county. Uh, it's a good opportunity to show not just the Board of Supervisors, but anybody coming by, residents of the county. They should know that uh, the entrepreneurial spirit, spirit is alive and well in Riverside County. People are working hard to grow their businesses, and it's a great place to do business. So we thought this was a good opportunity to, to show that off. Well, right now we're about to launch a new Manufacturers Association for all the manufacturers in Riverside County. That's going to be a really big deal for us, and it brings everybody together, puts them in a, in a room, gives them a forum to interact and get to know what kinds of opportunities are being offered in this county. Financing, foreign direct investment, all sorts of exporting opportunities, all these things will be brought together through that association. We're already doing some of it, but this will help really, I think, get the word out more completely to all the businesses that are operating in Riverside County. One of the big problems that business faces right now is tight credit markets. And there are a lot of mechanisms, a little bit outside the norm, that are available for people to draw in foreign sources of money to get their businesses capitalized to the extent that they need to be to, to grow, to expand, and to become exporters. And a great example of that, of course, is MVP, RV who got a sizable foreign direct investment, for, actually the second largest in the, in the country last year uh, from China, uh, got them capitalized up and running, and they're now exporting products to China. We have some on display here today. So uh, that's a great example. Another example is the EB-5 visa program, where people can invest, and in exchange for that investment, get a visa uh, to enter the country legally. Uh, a lot of different ways to draw money in. You don't just have to go to a bank. A lot of banks are saying no right now, so find other ways, and that's what we're helping people do. We're marrying people up, uh, businessmen with investors, uh, to, to allow them to continue to expand. I'm here with Richard of Performance Meters. Richard, can you tell me a little bit about your product and, and, and what it does? I'm very excited about our water meter products. I feel that we have one of the best, longer-lasting meter capabilities in the field of water meter recording. We have uh, domestic meters that are for uh, homes. We have large fire hydrant meters that they use for construction sites. We have a lot of patents on a lot of our products. Can you tell me events like what the county is putting on today, do you think it benefits your company and the other companies that are here? For us it benefits us tremendously because City of Riverside is our best customer. They realize the value of our meters. They understand the additional revenue that they're getting because of our, 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 the quality of our meters that is built into it. And uh, for us to be here to, uh, to uh, meet county supervisors and uh, people that are the big decision makers here for the, the city and the county is extremely important. And they realize the value of our business and being here in their backyard in their neighborhood. I'm here with Steve Pastor of the Farm Bureau. Steve, can you tell me, why is an event like this Export Manufacturers Day important to the Farm Bureau? It gives our growers, our members, a lot of exposure to uh, outside uh, buyers, especially overseas. A lot of our growers uh, sell within California or the United States, but this gives them a lot of exposure to overseas uh, buyers and the buyers can come in and see what is grown in Riverside County. And we have a small display of some of the commodities 
that are available um, in season right now in Riverside County. What, what countries are you currently uh, exporting products to now? Primarily Canada, Japan are, the, are some of the biggest export countries that we, we ship to. Uh, Mexico is another big uh, country that we ship to. Uh, but those, pri those three countries are primarily the biggest countries that we ship to. I'm here with Lynn Coker uh, with NIA Capital representing the Coachella Valley in that region. Lynn, can you tell me why are you at today's event? We're attempting to invite businesses into the Coachella Valley and into the Banning Pass. I happen to have the opportunity to work with many of the communities in that area, and I'm here on a fishing expedition, frankly. How do events like what the county is doing today benefit the region, you think? Well, I think, number one, it opens up the networks. Everybody is so busy. We've got day jobs, and we don't really have an opportunity to meet the new and innovative entrepreneurial organizations that can add value to our communities over a five- and ten-year period. And that's who's here today. We need to be meeting these people. I'm here with Roy Paulson with Paulson Manufacturing. Roy, can you tell me a little bit about the products that you create? Certainly. First of all, we're in Temecula, California, and we build everything here in the United States with raw materials that are made in the United States and domestic labor. Our products range everything from face protection for doctors and blood splash to ballistic products that are used uh, on level 3A ballistics for the police. And can you tell me uh, how important is an event like this that the county's putting on today, the, the Export Manufacturers Day? I think this is very important because it shows that the county realizes how important manufacturing is within the county of Riverside. The typical manufacturer in Riverside County has a four to one ratio. That's four people that are employed because of every single individual employee within their company. So if you have a hundred people, you're really supporting 400 people in society. Has the county helped you at all with your, your overseas or exporting at all yet? The county has been very helpful. Uh, I've been more involved with this uh, exporting situation than you may think because I'm on the President's Export Council and I'm involved with uh, modernization of the exporting rules to make it easier for people to understand how to export. So in this case it's been a very good collaboration between the county and myself and the other organizations I'm involved with. Now, you've got a pretty unique product line how many countries are you exporting to now? Well, we started out, we were only exporting to a couple of countries. And then what we did is we set up a plan for how can we really expand in this area. We knew we made a specialty product, and we knew that many countries would have no reason to develop the manufacturing capacity to build this type of an item within their own country. So we set out with this manufacturing or with this plan to expand throughout the world. And we now have uh, distribution in 100 countries throughout the world. I'm here with Mirnar, CEO of Regal Spas. Mirnar, can you tell me um, what makes your spas so unique? Uh, it, not just the jets, there's something different, correct? Yes, absolutely. We have the jets everybody else have, but we also have massagers, mechanical massagers, water-driven and patented and this is what makes this spa so special because it's not a soaking place it's a place to get therapy relaxation benefits to the body and you will only get it with regal spas we have 17 patents and nobody can copy what we have we claim to be the best because we are the best has the county been a real partner with you in helping you export your product overseas? Oh, absolutely. It's, this is like the third event that always besides us, they're always trying to promote the business. They want to expose us to more people. And not too many people know that the county has so many manufacturers. Everything is done here in the United States. And the county is doing a great job at exposing our names, doing the best they could do to tell people that we are here, we are local, we're doing a good job, and they could buy from us. It's made in the USA. We're not only local, we're not only national, we're also international. We have dealers in Norway, we are working on dealers in Belgium, in Croatia, in Brazil. So the company is, uh, with the help of the county, targeting newer markets to do better overseas also and create more jobs in the area. 
I hope you gained a greater understanding of the importance of international trade, not only for this region, but this country. The Riverside County Economic Development Office is doing everything they can to support our manufacturers because it creates jobs and a better economy. I'm your host, Dwight Cromie, for Southern California CEO Magazine. Today's Southern California CEO was made possible with the support of the Riverside County EDA's Office of Foreign Trade. Riverside County Foreign Trade assists firms in exporting products, goods, and services to nations around the globe, as well as assisting businesses with export financing, foreign direct investment, and offers any use of its three foreign trade zones.